once we come to the decision that we want more money to do the things and get the freedom that we want, we need to quantify how much money we're going to need so that we'll have a target to work for. How much money does it take so that you don't have to worry about money anymore? And before we do that, we need to do one other step first. Okay, we really do. You need some idea of how long you need the money for. How long does that have to last? Now, let's anticipate we're going to live until our 90s. Okay, that's reasonable. So how much money do you need to keep you into your 90s? So, if we need to have enough money to last into our 90s, each person is going to have a different amount that they need. Okay, based on their personal circumstances and their lifestyle. And I don't have time to find out exactly what that is for each of you. Each of you has your own number that you're going to need to, to live into your 90s to maintain the lifestyle that you want. However, this still brings us to the same problem. Okay, what methods are going to work for us? How do we get there? Okay. How do we get that much money? Whatever that number happens to be, how do we get that much money? Now, we're going to cover that in just a few minutes. Okay. For now, though, for years... Um, Financial planners have been typically telling us that retirees need about 60% of their pre-retirement income uh, in their post-retirement years. Being a certified financial planner and working for close to 25 years with, with clients, it's clear this is really no longer the case. With the real cost of inflation, not the reported CPI from the government, and especially in light of the ever-changing health care costs, most people need 80-90% to 90% of their pre-retirement earnings to meet their post-retirement needs. That means if you were retired today, to maintain the same lifestyle that you have now, you would need at least 80% of your current income. And if you're just getting by right now in your pre-retirement years, okay, what is, what's it going to be like for you with 20 to 30% less money? According to Social Security Administration, people in their retirement get money from the following sources. Let's take a peek at those. Okay, where's the money come from? Retirement? Oh, here we go. Social Security, 88%. Okay, okay. Um, income from personal assets, 59%. Pensions, 401ks, 44%. Uh, working, 38%. Veterans benefits, 4%. Public assistance, 4%. Okay. Non-cash benefits, 9%. Now, if we throw out the bottom three, because that's not really living, it's just barely a subsistence level, that leaves us with what? That leaves us with... As soon as this slide's going, there we go. Uh, working, pension, personal assets. 